In this video, we are going to use Raspberry Pi and we are going to send signal just using Raspberry Pi and a tool which I'm going to show you. So this is a great tool to test out uh, different types of signals on your HackRF1 or any RTL NCR device uh, just using your Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned. First, let me show you the tool and then in the end, we will also talk about how to install this tool. So over here, you can see I'm just using my Raspberry Pi and to test the signal, I'm using my HackRF1 port pack, but you can use any uh, RTL SDR receiver or any SDR receiver uh, which you have. Uh, and you just need your uh, Raspberry Pi device to send the signal. So let me go in the directory. The tool name is RPITX and over here there is easy test.sh. So let me run this and over here you can see uh, we can set the frequency. So let me set the frequency on 433 which is uh, the open frequency in many countries. So you have to check your own country law, laws about what frequency uh, is open in your country. So over here this 433 is the open frequency. So let me just OK. And over here you can see different types of uh, tests, right? So let me turn on my uh, port pack. And I'm using uh, version 2.0 Mayhem, which is the latest. And let's just go in receive and let's just see the signals in uh, audio. So let me set the frequency uh, to four thirty three and done. Over here you can see there is no signal right now. So let's just set uh let's just test the first signal which is tune so let me just hit enter and over here you can see a tune signal let me just do okay and the signal is gone so see just we are using our raspberry pi and we are testing different types of signals so how cool it is so we are not using any type of uh, expensive device we are just using our raspberry pi and we are not using any type of antenna at all so we are just using our Raspberry Pi. So this is the first signal. Let's just test out uh, this uh, uh, moving carrier signal. So let me just hit enter. And over here you can see a carrier signal. And we can also test out spectrum. So let me just hit enter. So spectrum is not that clear over here. You can see I have to keep Raspberry Pi, uh, sorry, port pack very near to Raspberry Pi. So you can t easily test out this device, uh, this uh, the, uh, uh, this tool uh, on your home uh, because it's not sending that much uh, amplified signals. So these are very uh, minor signals which you can easily test out. So the next thing is RF. Uh, my face so let's just hit enter and let's just see what it what it is so it's also a, a type of a spectrum so let's just do okay and we can also send fm signals so let's just test out so see these are the fm signals so let me tune to wfm and over here you can see the signals see let's just do okay and let me just tune into NFM again. And we can also send NFM signals. So let's just try that as well. So over here you can see NFM signals. Then there is SSB. We can send SSB as well. So let's just change to SSB mode. We don't have SSB mode over here, but we can see it in NFM as well. And then there is AM. We can also send AM signals. And then there is SSTV. So we can send SSTV as well. And we can also send POGSEG messages. So over here you can see POGSEG messages. 
So right now we've just given you the overview of this tool. I haven't gone in much detail uh, in these type of signals. So in, in our coming videos, we are going to also see how to send POCSEG messages uh, using the very same tool. And we will also see SSTV and all these other NFM and FM band signals as well. So this is a very cool tool. You can check out this tool. So now let's just talk about how to install this tool. So let me turn off my uh, port pack. So this is the link uh, through which you can download this tool on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a GitHub link. I will provide this link in the description. Uh, and you can uh, just do, you, you can just go over here and over here you can see the uh, instruction how to install this tool. So yeah, you need to have a uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, uh, unfortunately this tool just, uh, I have just tested this tool on uh, Raspberry Pi 3B and Raspberry Pi 4, but this tool works on Raspberry Pi 3B only. So it doesn't work on a new Raspberry Pi version. So I suppose it will not work on Raspberry Pi 4 as well. So make sure you check out. So this tool works on Raspberry Pi 3B and it might also work on 3B plus. Uh, so this is a drawback. You should have old Raspberry Pi device. And all you can do is you can just do git clone and then you have to go into the directory and just do uh, use this install.sh file and then you can reboot. So this is a very uh, simple installation and you need to have Raspbian OS as well, right? So make sure you run Raspbian OS, not any other OS. So you, you, this tool, I have also tested on Kali Linux, so it's not working on Kali Linux. So you, you need to have your Raspbian tool as well, Raspbian OS as well. So this is how you can install this tool and I hope you like this tool. Thank you.